that's never a good sign. Another 2014 GMC truck, 81,000 miles on it. It's got a misfire. Let's check it out. Check these trouble codes here. See what it says. Yep. Random misfire. Misfire and start up. Let's go to live data. Figure out which cylinder this is. Tell me number one and history counter number one. All right, I don't hear any ticking like it's a lifter or anything like that. So let's uh, pull number one spark plug, see what it looks like. Okay, let's pull this plug out. So we can get the wire off here. Looks like my spark plug socket's a little wore out. All right. So I don't know if you can really see that spark plug, but uh, it's pretty bad on that back side there. So what we can do is actually, this is number one cylinder, number three cylinder is back here. What I want to do is just pull number three out and switch it and uh, use our scanner and see if that misfire moves from one to three. If it moves from one to three, one doesn't miss anymore, three misses, we know that it's the spark plug. So let's pull these out. And get him switched. You want to take a look at this plug. This is number three. You can see how that plug looks a little bit different. Still showing some ash on there. So let's go into number one. I'll tell you right now, uh, if we do decide that number three starts to miss and we can verify that this plug is bad, we're definitely gonna recommend a tune up. So this is the plug that was in number one cylinder. Going into number three here. All right. Let's snug this one up. Our wire's put back on here. Let's go start this thing up. We're gonna check the live data, misfire 
data and uh, see what we see. Hopefully that misfire moves from number one to number three. And we just uh, sell them the tune up and should be good to go. We're gonna keep an eye on number one, see what happens there. Start it up. Ooh, it's gonna get interesting. So number three here, still reading zero. Our misfire has not moved. So what that's telling us is switching those plugs did not help. It's not a plug issue. Uh, as far as maintenance goes, I would definitely recommend a set of plugs and wires. But we still need to investigate further. Why is that number one cylinder misfiring? So let's check it for spark. See what's going on there. Test light hooked up here to the tab. And the valve cover there. Let's pull this wire off. And we should hear some major snapping by now. We got no spark coming out of that at all. Get this cover pulled off and we can investigate a little bit further. We might have a coil that's bad. cap back on make sure we don't get anything stuck down in there so again what we did with the spark plugs we're gonna do the same thing here let's switch this coil and this coil and we're gonna see and that's how we can check our electrical here just kind of substitute a part an own good part and uh, see if we have a spark on this cylinder compared to this cylinder So, let's switch these coils. Okay, that right there. Put this guy back in there. Get our connectors plugged in here. I'm just going to lay those loosely on there because I'm going to be pulling those off. So let's start this up and see which one has spark, which one doesn't. Okay, so you saw that we moved the coils around and this is what we expect to see. Number three is missing. That's because we had 
we found that bad coil now, uh, number one is completely zero. So we can rule out any mechanical issues or anything with that. It's going to be one coil and probably a tune-up. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hopefully this helped you out. We'll see you on the next one.